America's first brother-in-law made it to the nation's capital, but he left with a loss. I'm Mark Gray, and the Beltway Sports Report is next. There was a different level of enthusiasm this time as Howard opened the season at the Burr with a packed house, thanks largely in part to new Oregon State coach Steve Robinson, the brother of Michelle Robinson Obama, the first lady elect, if you will, who would be making her way to the White House. Howard struggled offensively, overcoming scoring droughts of four and five minutes, but they won it with the effort plays. They seemed to get every single loose ball, and their defense down the stretch was stifling, forcing a turnover late in the contest, and with a couple of free throws, they were able to hold off a Pac-10 team in rebuilding mode. We're trying to change a culture from being tremendously losing into one where you saw out there, you saw a great effort, you saw some smart playing, some mistakes that were important, but um, I think all in all, they handled the pressure just fine. But, you know, I, it's a great win for us, great win for the school. That's what we talked about, you know, being on the spotlight like this in this historical moment, though, we said, well, let's try to win one for the school. This was a game that was scheduled long before Robinson took over as head coach of Oregon State because one of his players, Calvin Hampton, is from the nation's capital metropolitan area. When you consider the Mideastern Athletic Conference is notorious for being at the bottom of the RPI standings, this is not only a big win for Howard University, but perhaps an even bigger win for the conference itself. But we've had a few big wins. This is right up there. I mean, with, with the pressure and Pac-10 school coming here, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's up there. I, I coached in the Ivy League, and we beat teams that were in big conferences. It, it happens. It's a juggling act at Oregon State for Coach Robinson these days, but he's used to it. After watching his brother-in-law for the last year and a half plus, lead a nation and galvanize people in masses to vote for him as president. Coach Robinson has hope, although he realizes his task is going to take a lot longer than it took for his brother-in-law to earn a trip to the White House. This is different. We, get, we have to recruit some better players. We have to uh, get better at what we're doing, and we have to change a, a, a culture from losing to winning. So it, it'll take more than 20 months. So things don't work out this time for the first brother-in-law as the Howard Bison knock off the Oregon State Beavers. But if it's one thing his brother-in-law has told him about, it's hope. And that's something that you're going to have to be long on if you're an Oregon State fan this year. Because after coming to the nation's capital and falling, they got a whole lot of work to do. From Bird Gymnasium at Howard University in Washington, D.C., I'm Mark Gray for Sports Groove TV.